everybody, welcome to my channel. Delicious cooking. Mwah! Hosted by yours truly, the stew chef. Today I'm gonna uh, show you how to create or make a uh, turkey stock. A turkey stock is not limited to just turkey, you know. You can, it's the same process for whatever stock you wanna make. The only difference is what kind of carcass you, you know carcass uh, you use, whether it's chicken, the goat, uh, the duck, vegetables. Um, so it's the same process, you know. You, another variation is just the length of preparation of cooking. So um, stay tuned, you know. Enjoy. This is for you. And then after that, I'm going to actually show you how to make a soup I created. Uh, it's called the green pea soup with turkey stock. So uh, enjoy. And you've got to try this and let me know how you, uh, you know, what you think about it, or at least uh, what you think of the taste. And you know, also if you really enjoy the preparatory or cooking process. I hope you do. So I'd right, sit back, enjoy, and uh, and have a good time. Uh, see you soon. Ciao, ciao. Mwah! This is the uh, stock pot. We're gonna be making the turkey stock in. Step one, we're gonna place the uh, turkey carcass into the pot. We're now gonna add uh, 12 to 14 cups of water. Uh, now I'm gonna bring it to a quick boil. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the, uh, the stove to uh, a little bit of a high heat, somewhere around like setting of uh, six. Still warming. We're waiting for it to uh, come to a quick boil. Uh, it looks like it's beginning to form slightly uh, minute, you know, uh, fatty deposits. And that's gonna happen as it boils. And, uh, and our goal is to skim the, uh, the fat deposit uh, as it accumulates and just, uh, just you know, discard it. So that's what I'm gonna use to skim the fatty deposit. So I'm gonna start doing that. And then we have to keep doing it, you know, uh, until it starts boiling. And as soon as it starts boiling, we just turn down the, uh, the setting to, uh, to low heat, pretty much uh, for it to simmer. And then we can go ahead and add our uh, vegetables. So you can see how much fat is accumulated. Uh, I'm, I'm still skimming it just to show you. And as soon as it starts boiling, I'm going to turn the heat you know to low and uh, uh, just let it simmer and uh, at that point I'm just gonna add the vegetables to it so that's how much uh, fat I've been able to collect as you can see and this is the main part it's boiling now so I'm gonna just reduce the heat to simmer and I'm gonna skim off excess fat so let's do that I'm gonna put it on the level 3 setting it's boiling now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start skimming excess fat. All right, so this is all the fat I've collected. I don't know if you can really see it well. You can get a good view of it. Um, this is the content of, uh, of the stock fat. So now we're gonna start adding the vegetables. We're gonna start, it doesn't really matter what order you choose, but we're gonna start adding them. So onions go in gradually. So we got the onions in. You realize the onions still have uh, its uh, skin on it. You don't have to remove the skin. The celery, celery in. It's a celery in. Carrots gonna be next. I'm bringing the carrots in. It's carrots. So this is what it looks like. Okay, and I have a leek. A bowl of leeks, so the, there you go, leeks in. And then I have some crushed peppercorns, pretty much. I'm gonna bring the peppercorns in. Um, the peppercorns. I just crushed it with the, uh, the base of a, uh, one of my pots. Okay, you can use whatever 
your heart desires to uh, to crush the peppercorns. So peppercorns in all of them. You can also leave the peppercorns on crash, you know, but I like to crush it to just impart more flavor. And I'm gonna add some bay leaves to it. Some bay leaves. That's the bay leaf. So that's the, you see the bay leaf. I'm gonna add some rosemary. I have, I think, six sprigs of rosemary. There you go. I'm gonna just uh, take it individually and just put it in. So you can just, there you go. Rosemary in. Okay, now that I have everything in, um, I'm gonna let it just simmer for about an hour. You know, because I don't wanna, you can you can let it simmer for up to three, four hours if you want. It just imparts more flavor, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just simmer it for an hour. You see how I'm, the, the, you have an evaporation of the fluid? I'm going to try to partially cover the stock part so I don't lose too uh, too much fluid. You normally don't have to cover it, but that's that's what I want to do so I don't lose too much of the stock. So I'm going to do that and come back in an hour. It is uh, an hour, so let's see how it looks like. Okay, uh, I'm going to turn it off and uh, and I'm going to let it just cool for a few minutes. I'm going to come back here and. Uh, and uh, you know, just spoon it or transfer it into a storage container. And at that point, we can just use it right away, or uh, we can just uh, let it cool and store it uh, for uh, for future use. Okay, it's time to uh, pretty much transfer the, uh, the stock. So these are the set of tools we're gonna need. Got a strainer sitting in a, uh, a container. Bowl. This is the stock. These are the two containers we're going to be transferring the stock into. And I have a, a cheesecloth. And I have scissors to cut the, you know, the cheesecloth to fit the uh, the, the the width of the, uh, the storage container. And not uh, the strainer with fine mesh. So we're going to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the transfer the vegetables, you know with a spoon, the perforated spoon, into the, the big, you know, the, the big strainer inside the, uh, the container. There you go. That's what I'm gonna do till, uh, till I get all the vegetables out. As you can see, I'm just scooping it out. It's very difficult to uh, get a good picture, but I'm gonna try. There you go. Set it inside the, uh, the bowl, plastic bowl. So I'm gonna do this till I get every all the veggies out. Okay, so I think you get a picture. Uh, this is what I have now. I removed all the vegetables. I, I may have some residual herbs which are pretty tiny uh, left, but we'll just uh, we'll just uh, strain through the fine mesh. The smaller strainer with fine mesh. That one on top of the, uh, the storage container like that. But I'm gonna put a, a cheese, you can put a cheese, the cheese clock on top of this strainer or between the strainer, the, uh, the storage container and the strainer, either or, that should be fine. What the setup looks like, you know, I have a uh, cheese clock, you know, uh, embedded between the, um, the storage container and the, uh, and the smaller strainer, you know, the, with a fine mesh. So for the transfer, I'm gonna use a, a ladle you know, to transfer it. Actually, uh, you know, that's that's the best thing to do, but uh, I sometimes just, you know, hold the, the edge of the container, or the handle of the container, the stock part, and then just transfer it that way. It gets it done quickly. Um, but you have both options. Either, you know, to spoon it with that, or just, if you can, just, uh, just you know, just pour it uh, by holding the handles of the, uh, of the stock part. So this is the final, uh, you know, stock. That uh, looks like. Mm -hmm. 
think I have about three and a half cups, you know, uh, of each. So that's a lot of stock. I thank you. That should do it. And that's, you know, that's pretty much how you make stock. Uh, there is a way to kind of process it, or at least I prepare it within 30 minutes uh, when you really don't have a lot of time. And I'll make sure I show you guys how uh, in the next few uh, weeks, okay. All right, folks, so now that the, the stock is done, I feel uh, uh, we get it to give you a few pointers. Uh, uh, when when the stock, uh, you know, uh, is set, you, you can either use it right away, uh, or if you're gonna be using it within the next three to five days, you can put it in the fridge. Uh, anything longer than that, my recommendation is just to put it in the freezer, okay? And then just thaw it if you have to use it.